There is the possibility of the first name storm developing later this week out in the Atlantic. So I want to be very clear about that. There is the possibility of a spin developing that could get it our first name of the season. But with that said, it should be away from land. I do want to show you that. And I want to show you that big surge of dust that is working across the Atlantic. But let me touch on this first. There was an earthquake yesterday evening right around 6.30, 6.45 near Barbados. It was felt in parts of Barbados, Martinique, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent of the Grenadines, about 4.3 magnitude, no damage or anything like that. It was about 25 miles deep or 40 kilometers deep, which is on the shallower side of overall. So that's why some of us did feel it. Just know that I'm keeping an eye on this area. Again, a 4.3 magnitude earthquake on Sunday evening uh, near Barbados, back through St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'll be watching uh, the Eastern Caribbean and Southeastern Caribbean in particular to see if there's any more uh, shaking the next few days. Now, as we work our way into May, about every other year, Year, there is a named system in May. With that said, we could see one form later this week and by this weekend out in the Atlantic. Here's what's going on. I mentioned the water temperatures in yesterday's video, and I do want to touch on that uh, further. Back through the Caribbean, the Gulf, over toward the Atlantic, a lot in the way of these reds and oranges popping up. Those are above average water temperatures, and you could see it here, the changes, especially back through the bay into the Gulf. Look at this surge of yellow, including the Gulf stream, which is a very warm water current that is now really starting to warm up. So this is something I'll keep an eye on as we get closer to the hurricane season. You see a lot of us in the 80s Fahrenheit are about 27, 28, 29 degrees Celsius now. Water temperatures are warming. Even out in the open waters of the Atlantic where there could be some development, uh, not super warm, but running above average. And that could feed this new area. So let me show you that and where there could be a system trying to form. So here we are in the Caribbean. Bahamas in through here, back through the United States. What's going on this time of year, we get these big fronts moving in. A severe weather threat parts of the United States later today, for example, with one of these fronts. I'll show you that in just a moment. But as these fronts move by, they leave some leftover moisture. So look what happens as we get through the uh, end of the week, to the end of the week. This is by Thursday. So we're talking the first day of May. Look at all this moisture building right in through here. And I'll show you down in the uh, Caribbean in just a second, the increased rain. I'll zoom down here and here with those areas of rain and severe weather potential. But this is the spot I'll be watching throughout the week. I like where it is though, over the open waters of the Atlantic. So you can see a spin developing here. Now, what do I mean by subtropical? Well, not truly tropical in nature. Water temperatures aren't super warm here. So typically that means it wouldn't be a strong system. It would be safely away from Bermuda as it stands now, safely away from the Caribbean. That's some good news. But a spin right out here, and this is typically for May development to get something in the open waters of the Atlantic. You see as we get into the upcoming weekend, still that spin out there. So there is a chance that this does become a name system. Either way, it'll be a pretty uh, potent strong uh, storm system out there just kind of spinning safely in the open waters of the Atlantic. And then eventually, by the time we get into next week, this is May 6th, there'll be a front working in. So it'll pull this area up toward the uh, north and northeast, just kind of kicking the system up, but up toward the Azores, I'll watch it. Even if it's not a named system, eventually by next week, it could bring some additional rain and some pretty gusty winds. And then we'll keep an eye on more fronts that will be sliding by that could do the same thing and leave some leftover moisture. So if this area gets a name this weekend or early next week, Andrea, that's the first name on the list. Then Barry, Chantal, uh, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo. These names recycle every six years. Now, if there's a big name system like last year, uh, Barrel, for example, Helene, for example, those names get retired, new names get put in by an organization, but these are the names for this upcoming year, but they recycle every six years, so you may see some familiar names. Now the dust, watch this dust surge moving in. So here's the Caribbean, here's Trinidad, and this is kind of a fine-tuned look where the thickest dust will be. Of course, there'll be some dust elsewhere, but this yellow shading here, this is what will start to uh, work in, and you can see it just pulling in. Here's Trinidad, here's Barbados here. As we work our way into the middle of the week by Wednesday, while we'll watching the possibility of subtropical development right in through here. This is some of that dust we'll be seeing. Aruba, Curacao, uh, Bonaire,
there over towards St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Guyana, Suriname, Venezuela, seeing some of that additional dust right through Grenada, up through parts of St. Lucia, and then pulling forward into the end of the week. By the time we get into Friday, that dust is just parked into the uh, southern sections of the Caribbean in through here on Friday. Watching this area dust, another pocket back behind it. While we're watching this, I'll be watching a spin to the north of the dust. That's the area that may develop, but watching these big pockets, of, this is not really dust out here. This is some lower air quality, but this is the Saharan dust in through here. So we'll be watching that building as we go throughout the week. So lots to cover as we go throughout the, this week. Right now, watching the stream of moisture in place. And again, we're going to see that leftover moisture up here that may start to uh, develop into that subtropical system as we work our way toward the end of the week and by the weekend. I'm also watching near the eastern Pacific side. Hurricane season starts here in just about a two weeks. Starts earlier on the eastern Pacific side. Lots of rain building. Parts of Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia. Thunderstorms a possibility. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Watching Jamaica for a few thunderstorms. And once again over toward the DR tomorrow. Couple storms with a front working by. There may be a few isolated showers back through the Bahamas. We do need some. The rain chance isn't super high, but at least we have a chance of rain. And then watch what happens here by Wednesday. Look at that feed of moisture that starts to work in right through here in the Eastern Caribbean. Some of the rain builds while this is building here. This is the tail end of a front helping to kind of surge in the moisture. We're watching that better chance of rain Eastern Caribbean by the time we get into Wednesday, Thursday, and potentially Friday, kind of battling some of the dust as well. The dust will be sneaking in right through here. And then this is that area that may develop into a subtropical storm in the Atlantic by the time we get into the weekend. Here's Bermuda, by the way. I want to show you that front that just passed by. We had some heavier rain. Uh, parts of the Atlantic region of Canada. Still watching out for some of that. This here is that severe weather threat in the United States late today into tomorrow. So a couple day event with that potential of severe weather, isolated tornadoes, very strong winds in through here. So we'll be watching these systems coming through the United States and then squeaking in with some rain over toward uh, Newfoundland by the time we get into Wednesday. And then this is that area that will start to spin out in the Atlantic. Watching the waters building, of course, the Atlantic waters, that's where things are going to be choppier. With the fronts moving by, here's meters on your screen. Here's feet right here. So these kind of greens and yellows, that's where we have the elevated seas. We just had that front move by Bermuda. So higher seas as we work our way in tomorrow, uh, into tomorrow, the same thing. Now, just going through the end of the week, uh, this here is by the time we get into Thursday, watching near the Bahamas and those Atlantic passageways overall for some of those uh, choppier seas as the week goes on. The Gulf and the Caribbean, though, not too elevated, pretty decent uh, shape as a whole. So for us in the Bahamas, even parts of Florida where we desperately need some rain, there is a chance of some spotty showers and storms later today into tomorrow. Uh, but again, it's not going to be enough to help out with those big time uh, drought conditions. A little help, we'll take it, right? But again, the rain totals won't be too terribly high. The Dominican Republic, that's where we have a better chance of some thunderstorms. That's where we could see some of that additional flooding where we could see some spots three to four inches of rain or 75 millimeters of rain to 100 millimeters of rain. Cayman Islands and Jamaica, if we get brushed by a shower or thunderstorm, for the most part, we're looking at about 10 to 25 millimeters of rain running under an inch of rain. But the DR, even back through Puerto Rico that I've been watching, we had some flooding a couple days ago in parts of Puerto Rico, just watching that chance of storms and still some spotty showers that may give a few of us over 25 millimeters of rain rain or over an inch of rain. We work away from Dominica, Martinique south. That's where it's going to be a little bit drier. St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad. Rain chance is not super high. Scattered areas of rain could give us an inch or 25 millimeters of rain. Guyana, Suriname, back through Venezuela. But keeping an eye on Costa Rica and Panama, that in, in especially interior, Colombia, that's where we're going to see that potential of some flooding, some spots uh, upwards of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain for a three-day rain total. Uh, Mexico City over toward the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Guatemala, the rain chance not very high. So a 40% chance of an isolated to scattered shower storm for us in Jamaica. We swing back through uh, the Cayman Islands. We're looking at a 30% chance today and just a 20% chance tomorrow. It's not too high. A rain chance in Trinidad next to nothing today. We'll have a 30% chance for tomorrow. Barbados, again, mainly dry as we go over the next couple of days. 
St. Lucia rain chance 30% and a 20% chance by tomorrow. Rain chance staying on the low side as well in Grenada. And again, watching out for some of that dust that will head our way. Uh, rain chance staying low. St. Vincent the Grenadines just slightly higher as we work our way into Martinique. A 30% chance, 20 to 30% chance in Dominica. Rain chance about 40% in Guadeloupe today. We could get a couple showers. Now, as we work our way through Antigua and Barbuda, still some areas of rain. The tail end of fronts around. So at times in the next two days, we may get some of those scattered showers. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, same thing, 30 to about a 40% chance. And Guilla and St. Bart's, isolated showers possible the next few days. Rain chance again very isolated 20 maybe 30 percent chance st martin saba and stacia we swing back through puerto rico though scattered areas of rain and storms so i'll keep an eye on those rivers to see if we do get any flooding 30 to 40 percent chance u.s and british virgin islands tortola st croix will have a couple showers around now the bahamas that's where the front moves in rain chance not super high but isolated showers possible over the next couple of days turks and caicos rain chance staying on the low side there's that 50 percent chance in the dominican republic but where where we get it, watching out for the downpours and that possibility of flooding. And that includes parts of Haiti, especially closer to the Dominican Republic, interior sections, uh, eastern sections, better chance of getting some of the rain. We'll watch out for the river crossings. Isolated showers possible today in Belize. We'll have a chance, but the rain chance not super high. 30% chance today. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, uh, mainly dry in Aruba. Could see about a 30% chance of a shower tomorrow in uh, Curacao, Guyana, 40 to 50% chance. In the rain chance builds a little bit by the end of the week or at least the middle of the week we'll see a better chance of rain in Suriname isolated kind of the pop-up thunderstorms in Cuba 50% chance to 60% chance in Costa Rica Panama where we get not all of us will get rain but where we get it possibility of flooding will exist isolated showers possible in Nicaragua just a 20% chance the next two days in Honduras rain chance up a little bit on Wednesday Guatemala and El Salvador up to a 50% chance Mexico City today, we're mainly on the dry side, 20 to 30% chance, isolated shower, Yucatan Peninsula. Northern Colombia, though, a higher chance of rain, especially just to the south in Colombia. Flooding will be possible. Same thing in Venezuela. It is going to be on the active side. Bermuda, just watching that front that has just pulled off to the east, and we'll be watching another front back to the west. Those seas are elevated and some gusty winds around. So some flooding with some of the thunderstorms that we'll be watching, that large area of dust coming. That's going to move in for some of us midweek. And keeping an eye on those water temperatures, which, of course, are warming and warming rather quickly. We're just 34 days away from the hurricane season there could be a name system safely out in the Atlantic by the time we get into the end of the week we will track it together thank you for subscribing I hope you had a very good weekend and have a wonderful start to the week